1959 Chevy Impala Hardtop by Monogram. Coming up next on What's in the Box. What's in the box? What's in the box? What's in this box? What's in the box? Hello, classic car fans. My name is Trevor Slescu, and I'm the owner of Monster Hobbies in High River, Alberta, Canada. Say, who doesn't like Chevy Impalas? I like them. And this is a hardtop made by Monogram, and it's a very, very cool kit. So now, Chevy fans, let's go down and open up the box and see what's in this kit. Now we're going to open the lid on another great model kit from Monogram. This is the 1959 Chevy Impella hardtop, skill level 3. And again, this was one of the kits that came out in the early 90s as competition model to the high quality standards of Tamiya, Japan. We'll start with moving this off to the side. Okay, and here we have our instructions so we can see exactly how cool this model is. And they give you some nice detail on it. How uh, Harley, Harley J. Earl liked the longer lower look. And then we've got a nice paint code going on down here. And again, another one of these really extensive uh, engines that we've got for this era of model. I'm talking not 50s car, but that 1990s competition to uh, Tamiya type of car. Look at the separate upper and lower A-arms. There's actually two piece to the coil spring mounts, which is very cool. Another one of the X-frame Chevys, GM cars. I think Oldsmobile was the only one that didn't have the X-frame, if I remember correctly. Which, of course, I could be wrong on. <laughs> Don't take my word for anything. No, I'm just kidding. Um, yeah, it's got separate shock absorbers, a stabilizer in the back. Unfortunately, it doesn't have the posable wheels, but it does have a single piece uh, front axle. And then we have our radiators and the battery going on there separate. You have your choice of the chrome knockoffs or the regular stock hubcap. And then we have the interior and these represent separate stickers that you can stick down into the upholstery pattern. Separate rear speaker, much like the 59 Cadillac kit. And there's four pieces going onto the dashboard. And interior with separate side pieces. And of course the underneath with molded in detail on your roof line. And then the parts all going together. You do have optional bumpers in here. The regular stock bumper or the one with the overrides. Would actually be cool to have two of these kits. You also get your choice of a Continental kit onto the back or the regular stock bumper. Which again, this would be cool to have two of these. So you could build one with and one without. And of course, separate windshield wipers, operating hood, and very many cool things. It says discard any remaining parts. But hey, as a customizing model kit type of guy, you know you never discard anything. <laughs> okay, let's look at the body. So there's the body there. Got that nice line those nice fins on the back. Sort of more like the jet airliner style as opposed to straight up and down like a 57 Chevy was. You notice this big depression in here? That's actually you glue in a separate chrome trim piece right into that big depression, which is very nice. It means you don't have to mask off anything or use bare metal foil to put in the chrome. So we just move the body over there. And there's our under pan. And as you can see, there's that X frame again. The good description is in my Cadillac review for 59 on why the X frame existed in the first place. And now we have our clear components. Here we go. Let's take them out of this big bag here. And there's our windshield. A couple little scratches on here. You can actually 
use some wax uh, and buff out your glass, which maybe one day I'll show in a video somewhere. There's some of our chrome here, the windshield wipers, uh, the side window, no drafts, the tricarbs, door handles. Be very careful when you cut those out, they don't go flying across the room on you. And here's our secondary chrome tree. As you can see, there are a lot of parts. Those are the inserts in the side bodies. And our rear head uh, taillights, pardon me. And there's our bumpers, the custom ones with the overriders, as well as the Continental kit or your stock bumpers, which were very, very plain, actually, the stock bumpers. Okay, there's our springs and our shock absorbers and stuff that I cut out of the middle. And there's our tree with all our undercarriage details and our fender skirts and the Chevy big block. This actually has separate sun visors in it, which is quite nice. Yeah, so you can see all the cool details there. Then we have our interior uh, floor pans, and there's our seats there, the sticker inserts. Speaking of which, here are the inserts. So as you can see, you get a choice between blue upholstery or red, and it's got some sticker license plates on there too. No Michigan this time. <laughs> All right, anyway. Uh, Yes, I was starting on this one, I believe. There's our dashboard again. It's very much like the AMT El Camino of the same year. Mainly because it is the same subject matter. There's our hood. I've buried the body, so I won't be able to show you how it fit together. Oh yes, I did start this because I started to glue the seat together. But there's our front seat. And our door panel, and you can see all that great detail in there, including... Now these aren't speakers, they're actually air vents in the sides of the door. And there's the little door lock handle there, or button, which is quite cool. And I think I'll wrap this up with our wheels. So that's our regular wheel, and then you get a white wall insert in there too. And these are nondescript wheels. They're not Firestone or anybody. They're just wheels. So that will conclude our review of the Monogram 59 Chevy Impala. Well, I hope you enjoyed that look into Chevy's 1959 Impala hardtop by Monogram. And if you would like to see what other groovy cars we got out there, please check us out at www.monster-hobbies.ca and like and subscribe to us right down here and click the notification bell for when we roll out the next cool car and check out these three other videos in our series from earlier and until next time keep your wheels on the road